Okay, we are back, everybody. We've got West Point Steve, who is the world record holder of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 for the Japanese version, which is what we're going to see today. It is a lot faster than the U.S. version by, I think, about five minutes. Uh, Steve is a boss at this game, so I'm going to hand it right over to him so we can get started. So welcome, Steve. Good luck, man. All right. I just want to make sure I can be heard. Can be heard. You're good. All right, cool. All right, well, as you can see from the title, I'm going to just do a couple notes here. Um, as you can see from the title, um, I'm playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, it is, was the first release game in Japan, I believe. And so that's why you see this instead of Turtles 2, like we see in the US. So this is how you know if you're playing the Japanese version. And so here we go. I'm actually going to pick um, turtle. I'm going to pick our normal turtle, which is Raph, um, just for the sake of the run. And hopefully we can get a good run here. So here we go. All right, timer will start um, when I have movement of the turtle. So hopefully you guys are ready to go with that. And here we go. So I'm just going to say go. Um, because there's really like no countdown here because everything goes fast. I'm going to press A immediately. So here we go. Let's go with Raft. And now. Alright, here we go. So this is Turtles 2, everybody. Um, if you're familiar with the arcade game, uh, most of the levels in this game are representative of the arcade game itself. And so as you can see, I'm Raphael. Um, Raphael is the best turtle in this game. He actually has a little bit of a longer range, believe it or not. Um, ooh, got hit by the ball there. Um, he has a four pixel extension on his range, so he can actually hit um, enemies from a little farther distance, which makes the run tons better um, with the run. And so uh, that's, that's one cool thing about this run. Uh, another interesting thing about this run is how you use the special attack. And one thing about the Japanese version that makes this game a lot easier and a lot quicker is that I can hold B and press A the entire time. Any of you guys familiar with the US version, you have to hit A and B at the same time to do the special. And then um, another thing to note is how the points are made up. And so the points are made up by 50s, 100s, all that kind of stuff in this game, whereas the US version is only done by 1s. And so a lot of differences there at the early going. All right, here we go. A couple of technical things. Here we go. Roadkill Rodney's. The setup is pretty basic. You want to head over to the left and converge them. And I'll explain that a little bit later. Because we're getting to the quick kill for the first boss fight, which is Rocksteady. So I hope I don't screw this up for you all. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up Raphael right here along this pot. I'm going to hit Rocksteady once. He goes to the left corner, I mean right corner. And then this is all you do. Bam. I got through the first fight. <laughs> All right, first fight out of the way. Okay, we're on the stage two. Scene two is pretty, pretty uh, basic stage. So I'll talk a couple of more things that are different between the U.S. and the um, Japanese version. Another thing that's very interesting about the Japanese version is that you can do dive kicks and take out enemies with dive kicks, and so that is something that's uh, not possible to do in the U.S. version. US version registers as two hits for the uh, uh, for the two hits for for a kill for a foot soldier, whereas you just need to do one in the Japanese. All right, those guys are jerks. I don't want any dynamites thrown in there. Okay, here's one of my favorite parts of this second stage right here. I kind of found this by accident. I move my turtle slightly down and a few pixels, and I can do a dive kick at the one at top without having to land on the awning. All right, coming up, uh, we're gonna see a couple of signs, which I think is pretty awesome for this, uh, for this Turtles 2 block. So here we go. We're gonna hit some signs here, and they're gonna say Turtles Racing. So here we go. This is the cool thing about the Japanese version here. Turtles Racing, there you go, folks. Very fitting. All right, we're getting up to the Bebop fight. Um, there was something very technical. I'll talk about that later that I just did there with the sign. But we're getting to the Bebop fight. That's also a um, also a quick kill. 
So here we go. Let's see where these two got. Oh, good, good RNG there. Okay, I'm gonna set myself along where that turtle, is, uh, that tire is, and then once he drops, I quickly jump over there. And when he drops, I just start special slashing him. Your range is long enough that you can just do that. Quick kill, done. All right, stage three. Anybody familiar with the actual arcade game um, knows that Baxter Stockman is the enemy of this game. I'm gonna actually be um, straddling this line right here the entire time almost. Um, and that's basically it. And here comes where the Mausers come for the first time. So I'm gonna say double zeros because I just look at the score and I know that each one's worth 30. So I know it's gonna be a change in the score by 50. That'll tell me when to move on. All right. One last thing I want to mention before we'll do some donations, um, if we have any, um, is uh, is the fact that we can do um, that we could do a twist slash in this game. And so what a twist slash is is basically I can actually do the twist. I do a r normal special slash and actually move it from left to right as we as we go about. Um, trying to take care of enemies, so that's very useful in certain parts of the game But in this moment uh, we can actually do some donations because until the boss fight So we are currently still caught up I do just want to say thank you guys so much for being very generous so far We've already hit our first goal and we are close to our second goal already if you do have the means We really really appreciate those donations. So keep them coming if you can if you can't that's awesome We just love you being here as well yeah, thanks, and back to you, Steve. All right. I'll get those donations, guys. Get those donations. All right, we're getting to the Baxter fight. Um, just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to do what he says when he comes in. yippee ta yay There it is. That's, if anybody's familiar with that fight in the actual arcade, that's what he does. Oh, I'm messing up. So what he's doing, he's just doing circles around here. I'm trying to get three hits every time. And I'm trying to make sure that stinking Mauser doesn't get me. But that was overall not too bad of a fight. Alright. So, those of you who are actually familiar with the NES version, there are two stages that are not part of the actual arcade game. And this one coming up is one of them. And so we're in the snow level. I guess you would call it the snow level. Manhattan has been snowed on. So this level is pretty interesting. It, it puts a couple um, enemies in this game that are really RNG based. Um, and I haven't spoke too much about the RNG just yet. Because the RNG gets really heavy more towards the end of the game than it does at the beginning. But first RNG that you deal with are these snowmen. I call them Olafs. Guys, let's just be honest. Let's talk about Disney characters while we're playing Turtles. But what you do is you just have to wait for them to come in. And you can't hit them while they're like jumping up in the air. And if you hit them while you try they're jumping up in the air, you're most likely going to get hit. So you got to have to wait till they're coming down until you can hit them. It's a little technical, but they can also be pretty crazy. Oh, I got hit. That's okay. Alright. Moving on here. We're gonna see those. Uh, we're gonna see those snowmen up here one more time as we're doing this. All right. Already getting near the end of this stage. This stage, not too bad. This is actually not too bad of a stage so far. All right. Here's the RNG. Oh, there's there's good RNG there, but I missed that second one. There we go. Nice. All right. Coming to the end of this stage, we have the Tora fight. And the Tora fight um, is pretty crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually utilize the jump kick feature here that you can use in this game. And you can do quick jump kicks, so here we go. And I'm gonna just do this back and forth like so. So once I land, I just jump and I just keep them in this loop. So I'm doing some serious time right now.
And there you go. That is very technical. I'm just going back and forth, left to right. You you might think it's easy, um, but it's but it's not. It's not easy at all. All right. So there we go. Next stage here. So now we're back to actual arcade. I took out two of those cones so I could get the enemies to spawn in. Um, they act like sprites, so if I don't take those out, um, then the foot soldiers just come out one at a time, and it's a pain in the butt. I call this the double stage because you want to get these double kills right off the bat. So I'm trying to get double kills, um, as you can see, and double kills actually is a lot quicker to get through little screens here and there. So that's what I'm trying to do at most to trying to these these guys here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit this barrel. This guy coming in from the left is gonna hit it. Bye, guy. See you, dude. All right. All right, here it comes. The first time you see a car coming down. Okay, three gunners appear, and there it goes. Gunners are probably the one of the worst foot soldiers to have in the game. So it's uh, it's not. It's not fun when they get loose, but if you stay away from their horizontal line, um, you basically will avoid them. And I missed the second one there. That's okay. All right, here we go. Strat that I figured out here for these guys. I'm gonna hit this barrel again. Three guys are gonna come out of that truck. Boom, one, two, three, done. So there's a triple. And then I'm gonna get another triple right here out of the second van coming up. As soon as they land, one, two, three, boom. All right, so we're going to see Baxter again. This time he's a bug. Two hits with the special slash, and then you just wait a half a second once he pops up his little circle ball things. I don't know what you want to call them. But they're there. But this is a fight. It can get really bad if you get hit by his orbs. He'll send you to the left. And you don't want that to happen, trust me. That's a good fight. Really good fight. Good stage overall. Really pleased with the time. Looking at it, 11.05 going after that stage. That's actually really good. So, this is where everything gets really crazy. Um, the last five boss fights. It's going to be really critical that I uh, get through these stages really well. Alright, this is the highway, and if you're familiar with the actual arcade, this is part of that as well. Watch out, car. Game on! Alright, just throw Wayne's World reference there for you all, if you know what that movie is. Alright, here we go, we got Roadkill Rodney's. Again, again you want to converge them all together, and kind of corner them in the left corner. And Dynamites gave me not too bad RNG there. I'm kind of far to the left right there. Okay, there we go. Spears can actually, these spear guys can actually act like the gunners. So you want to avoid them at all costs and, and kind of move around. So there we go. All right, bombs. This is the only time you see these bomb guys. Rip bombs. See ya. All right. Okay, here we go. We got this uh, this section here. So you have six. You'll have uh, about six of these guys. I think it's seven, eight. There's eight. That's eight. You have five of these guys coming up. I'm hoping for double up top. Nope, didn't get the RNG. That's okay. You can get double on top where two guys come out at the same spot. Let's see if I get it up here. Nope. Oh, they came down there. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Thank you. All right, these knife guys could be a pain in the butt. All right, the tire section here. This is a critical part too. This is something I've actually discovered how to handle. Um, that didn't give me good RNG. Let's see if it comes out here. Go up top here. There we go. One, two, and then here he comes. Three and four. Boom. Just stand there and you're moving on. Look at that. All right. Helicopters. They come in two different ways. They come in fast and they come in slow. 
see how they come. Ooh, both slow. That's not bad. Like it. All right, four gunners. Oh, please don't shoot. Okay, cool. That was a bad location for that gunner. And then four boomerangs, and I'm gonna go right back to this corner and take these guys out. All right, four special slashes takes them out, done. And then last one here. Oh, fast, there we go. I wanted to, I was hoping, I did that again. Practice, I was doing that. That's okay, we got it. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, um, they come in two different ways. They come in slow and fast. If they come in slow, you can just do normal hold B and press A slash. But if they come in fast, you actually have to do the A and B slash, the A plus B slash, because the slash is actually a little bit higher than the B, the hold B and A slash. So that one's a little technical, more a little more technical when you come in fast. But we got through it. All right, more Mausers. This section here is, is uh. Pretty basic to start off. There we go, 80. And go down here. Oh, I didn't spawn right. None of my practice runs had that happen either. All right, 80. So we're gonna be at 30. By the way, who's driving the van into that into that barrier? By the way, I don't, I don't understand that. Let's just run his van into the barrier. All right. So in this section here. Um. That blue only spawns to the right side that one time, and then all of them, all of them, all of them spawn to the left side after that. So that's how that section works. And there we go. This section can be very difficult, but got through that. And there we go. Nice. We're getting through. Oh no. Okay bad spawns from these guys. That was a little bad there. That's okay, we took care of it. Alright, so something that I wanted to just be mentioning here, as you guys are probably watching me, um, notice that I'm like taking guys out before they kick in, and that's a very technical strat, and you gotta really understand how it, how it works uh, right off the bat if you want to learn this game, because that actually saves a ton of time. Here we go, drones! All right, slash, twist slash, and boom, baby, there we go. Let's see if we can do it again. Slash, twist slash, and uh, I'll get sent flying, so that's okay. Oop, let's not stay on that screen anymore, we're done. I'm gonna keep throwing boomerangs, dude. Okay, don't punch me in the face. We're good, all right. We're getting to the Granitor fight, and Granitor fight, there's really just hack and hack and hack away. So here we go. Just avoid these guys, just stay up here, just jump. Okay, got my pizza. Okay, dive kick back over. Alright. Granitor is just going to pound you a little bit. But you're going to get four hits in by the time he pounds you. Set up on this side. Because you can get up easily. And just do this all day. Wait like a split second before you start hitting him. Because if you hit him right as soon as you get up, he'll hit you again immediately. That, that was a really good fight, actually. If you try to do the right side, you'll have a wall animation, and that wastes time. So this is actually pretty decent time. We're under 18 minutes after... Yeah, under 18 minutes. Wow. Do we have time for a couple Good. donations? We're golden. Um, okay, yes. we got three really really quick. We got Vin with 10 bucks saying, let's see some Hanit action, Lori. Uh, that's for Octopath Traveler. Uh, we have Shogun's Head for 1748. I'm waiting for you, Steve. <laughs> and then <laughs> one you might even like better. We have... One from Go West Point Steve for ten dollars, saying, "Watching my husband play Go West Point Steve, I love you." Oh, all right, that's my wife, everybody. Thank you, dear. That's awesome. All right, okay. So, a couple of things that are gonna happen here. I'm gonna get triple here. 
this triple kill. And then boom, boom. Okay. I want to take care of these candles. Again, sprites on the screen can actually hold these foot soldiers back. So I'm going to hit this one as well. I've actually found out that the last one comes in a little bit faster taking that sprite out. Okay, here we go. Tigers. Okay, let's pray for good tigers. I've been messing up tigers recently, and I don't know why. I'm just not focused. I don't know what's going on. So let's see if we get tigers. One, two. Regular. Special. Come on. Aw. Oh. Alright, we're good. Okay, some tigers again. This time, you'll see the loop. So what happens is I got him in this loop, and I could do six special slashes each time, and that's how you get rid of that second tiger. All right, here we go. Scorpion's the worst thing ever. Oh, come on. Hey, uh-uh. Stay. Stay. Oh, thank goodness. Marathon run. Woo. All right. <laughs> Scorpions are just the worst thing in this game. Oh, and then we got this RNG? What the heck? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well. We'll take the RNG. You know what? Let's just do that. All right. Let's get this pizza just for the heck of it. We really don't need it. We'll do it anyway. Wow. Okay. Here's the worst enemy of the game. Let's pray for no head. I'll explain the fight after. Behave. Ah. Okay, that's not actually not bad. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, so there's like a 4.2 second window. Every 4.2 seconds, he's got a chance of his head flying off. And being at 2103, looking at a timer that I have going on right now, this is actually really good. All right. So now we're in the Technodrome. And, uh... Everybody says they love this music every time I play it, so let's do the music justice for a little bit, and I'll just uh, stop talking. <laughs> I would do that. I said to myself, I'm probably going to get frozen tonight, and I did. Alright. So here we go. Uh... What can I say about this game? Um, so over the course of this whole time I've been playing this game, I've been doing one specific thing and I've been staying mostly to the top. Um, and there's a very good reason why I stay mostly to the top. Because most of my spawns are gonna come from the top area versus the bottom. And so if guys are coming from the bottom, I kinda try to get them to come up towards me. And then if guys are the last one on the bottom, I do go down there. But most of your spawns will come from the top first. So I'm staying around the top area, taking out those guys and letting the other guys come towards me. And I'm very rarely going to the bottom. Zigzags. Don't get frozen like I did, okay? Just go zigzag from top to bottom. You're going to be good. Alright, I'm going to give out a shout out to Hi-Fi RS. I hope he's in the chat. I hope he's watching. Hi-Fi RS, this is the Hi-Fi strat. I just, I'm gonna drop the controller for a little bit. I won't get hit by these balls. All right, pick up the controller. 
Let's go. Get the pizza. Cool little fun side note here. If you're playing co-op, you can actually get both players to get that pizza. As long as you guys are sharing the same pixel. What is the right side spawn there? Holy, what the right side? Okay, that never happens. Marathon, all right. Again, Rogue Kill Rodney's, take those out together. Okay, that's nice. These blues are on my nerves tonight. All right, Rogue Kill Rodney's again. Merge them all together. Boom, just like that. Okay, we're getting to the general trog fight. And the general trog fight is very easy. Um, just watch how I do it. You'll find that one hit will yield two hits on him. And so I'll do one hit, jump, one hit, jump. So here we go. I'm going to go to this corner. And here we go. Alright, there we go. He wasn't playing nice at the beginning, but there you go. Come on, dude. So after you hit him, you get it, him to do this hit motion. And then after a while, since I have enough life, I'll just hack away. And I could try to get the three hits on. There you go. Nice, there we go. This is a really decent stage so far, a decent run. All right, we're at 2506-ish range going into this Krang fight. Now, all I can say is Krang is a pain in the butt, and some of the runners that are are here tonight in chat and have seen me watch and watch me do this. Oh man, Krang is the worst. There he goes, kick. There we go. Lasers. I want the lasers. You want to try to get a lot of hits on him and not him kicking. And if he kicks a ton like he's doing right now, this is gonna suck. But this is the crank fight, it's a pain in the butt. There is a possibility of a one cycle of not dying during this fight, but there, there you see, you're gonna die no matter what. It's literally impossible. You have to get like 50 some hits on him. Okay. There we go. Okay, so as he's going away, I'm setting myself up right here. So as you can see, as I'm jumping up in the air, I'm like one pixel below that line. So this is how I'm going to set up the Shredder fight. Shredder will be on the right side. <laughs> Shredder will be on the right side, and Ghost Shredder will be on the left. So here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, please stay there. Ah, oh, shoot. If I didn't get hit, we would have been fine. Okay. So some of you guys are probably like, how come I didn't get hit by that? Well, there's a few pixels below that center line that this will not hit you. And what you want to do is you want to get that Ghost Shredder to be locked in that position and just do this the entire time. And then you're just doing dive kicks at the real Shredder. I'm hitting the kick right as soon as I hit that circle to kind of tell me when to kick because he will go down just like that. And if he goes down, if you do the kick too quickly, he will hit you. We're just going to finish this beautiful run down. This is going to be a really good time. Actually really impressed. This is, this is it. Right here. Helmet flies off. Seven hits. One. Two. Time's coming up soon. Six. And seven. There we go. And... Time. All right. Really good time. Really good time. Twenty. I got twenty-seven thirty-one. I don't know what we got here, but this is uh, this is your time right here. That's a really good time. Twenty-seven thirty-one. Um, I was just going to say this, 27s were never a thing until halfway last year. So, um, 27s are starting to starting to happen. And uh, my world record run is at 26.55. That's the only 26 run that we've ever seen so far in this game. Um, other, unless uh, somebody's got a TAS version of it. So, very good run for this, for this game, 27.31. 
So, a little better RNG. We could have probably pushed that time a little bit faster, but that was really good. I, was, I really liked that. I liked that run. So, thank you all for the GGs. I'm seeing all these GGs pop up. Thank you all for the GGs. This was a lot of fun to do. I'm glad to be part of this uh, marathon and be able to run this game. And uh, This is a great game. Great game. Anybody can get into it. And uh, um, Yeah, and we have our own Turtles Discord, so it's all good. It's pretty, it's pretty good. We got some good runners that are always able to help you guys out to learn how to play this game. And it's a fun game, and I highly suggest anyone who wants to get into it, get into it. It's a, it's a good game to, to run, and uh, we're still looking for a whole bunch of people to continue running this game and learning it. So, so thank you all for having me run it, and uh, turn it over to you guys again. Awesome, wonderful, wonderful run, Steve. That was a, a joy to watch. I do just want to say before we cut to, to set up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, we do have a couple more donations. We've got 555 from Resisting Frame saying, too lazy to change the zeros, so just put three fives. One step closer to the goal, fellas. And then Cosmic Gamers 852 put us over the 1200 saying, breaking dono goals day one. Let's keep it up. And indeed, thank you guys so much for being so generous. Once again, we are really, really thankful for anything that you guys can afford to give. And so thank you so much, and let's keep it up. We're only about a third of the way through this thing, and let's see how high we can get this. So we will be right back with TMNT3 with Omquat. <laughs> 